Hey VC, it's Jonathan, your cheap and cheerful record collector. I hope everybody's doing well out there and I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy new year. After the year I had last year, I'm very happy to see 2022 in the rearview mirror and goodbye, good luck and so long. And let's hope 2023 is a lot better for everybody. Um, this is going to be a video of showing a lot of blues albums I picked up this past year. Um, had a pretty good year finding some great blue stuff, and I've shown most of these interdispersed throughout the year, but I thought I'd put a video together to show them all at one time. So, the first one I'm going to bring up here is a record I picked up, uh, Elmore James. I don't have enough Elmore James in my collection. This is Elmore James and John Brim, Brim who I never heard of before, but, um... I guess half, half the album is uh, Elmo James, half the album is John Brim. Uh, originally recorded between 1953 and 1960. Sorry about the glare. This is a French pressing. Um, good stuff on here. There's the chess label, the French chess label. Um, a couple of songs had not been reissued or issued at all until this came out in 1960. So happy to have this in my collection. John um, Elmore James and this new guy, new to me anyway, uh, John Brim. Okay. Um, next one is a guy I've had al albums of his for years. I love him. I had him when I was in high school. I can't get enough. And it's a Lightning Hopkins. This is originally released in 1960. This is a 1990 uh, original blues classic on Prestige. I kept it because it has the original price sticker of 9.98 on here. Uh, has Leonard Gaskin on bass, uh, Belton Evans on drums, recorded in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey, November 9th, 1960. This one they recorded an album in one day. They didn't take six months to record an album. He went in, songs he played in concert, he sat down and blew through them in one day. Uh, Automobile Blues, Mino Frisco, Comeback Baby, uh, Walking Blues, Katie May on the Blue Bluesville label. Nice pickup. Really glad to have that in the collection. Next one is a uh, particular favorite of mine. Uh, a lot of people don't know him because he died so young. Um, died in 1970, I think it was, or 69. Um, had a heart attack. But great, great. Magic Sam. He was just, uh, I guess, 1969... Um, Ann Arbor Blues Festival. He really broke through, and that was supposed to be the next year, 1970. It was supposed to be his year, and uh, he died very suddenly. This is a great album. This is uh, the late great Magic Sam, Magic Sam's Blues Band, uh, recorded October 30th, 1963, and 1964, and then the last two songs recorded live at the Royal Albert Hall in October 69. Um... So a lot of these are compilations from other albums he had out. Uh, High Heel Sneakers, All You Love, Call Me If You Need Me, uh, Backdoor Friend, Feeling Good, Easy Baby. Uh, Magic Sam was definitely a blues singer but and guitar, great guitar player, but definitely had a lot of soul and soul-type music in his voice and, and delivery. So big fan of Magic Sam. There he is. And also, while I have... Uh, Oh, this is a German pressing, by the way. Uh, and it was only released in the U.S. on CD. Never released in the U.S. on uh, vinyl. So happy to have that. Next one is an, another compilation of the same gentleman, Magic Sam. And this is a, originally recorded between 1957 and 66 before he signed for Delmark, which ended up being his main, main label. Uh, this was early stuff he did on Cobra, Chief, and Crash Records. Recorded 57 to 1966, and this was just released in 2022. This is wonderful stuff, really. Raw Blues, the, the titles. Um, let's see, oh yeah, it's on pink. I don't know why I put it on pink, but there it is. So this is great early stuff by Magic Sam. Great soul, blues, wonderful stuff. And if you don't know Magic Sam and you like soul, you like blues, definitely check it out. I love this. They show all the 
original 45 labels. And he's the same picture of Magic Sam right there. So that's Magic Sam 2022 release called Magic Sam Cobra Chief and Crash Recordings 57 to 66. Uh, next one I picked up, another favorite of mine, and that's Buddy Guy. This is from 1982, and this is Buddy Guy and Junior Wells drinking TNT, smoking dynamite. And this was recorded live at the Montreux Jazz Fest, June 28, 1974. Includes, besides Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, Bill Wyman, Pine Pop Perkins, Terry Taylor, and Dallas Taylor. Um, according to the notes on the back, um, uh, backing up Muddy Waters at Montro when Muddy had finished, Buddy and Junior were to go on, but seemed unhappy with the backing band provided. Having played with Bill previously, Bill Wyman, um, in the U.S. during a Stones tour, they asked him if he could assemble a rhythm section. Bill jumped at the chance, and the results have all the fire and spontaneity of a Chicago Blue Monday session. This is a great, great album. Recorded live at <clears throat> Montreux. Buddy Guy and Junior Wells. Very cool. Next one is another great blues man. Also died fairly young, unfortunately. Lucky enough to see him once. And that's Mike Bloomfield. This is his album, uh, Cruising for a Bruising. This is from 1980 uh, on Tacoma Records. Tacoma was a label John Fahey started. So you have a lot of really excellent guitar players on this label. That's what they're really known for. They're great guitar playing. And Mike Bloomfield certainly fit the bill as one of the great guitar players. On here he does Junkers Blues, um, Cruising for Bruising, uh, It'll Be Me, Motorized Blues, Snowblind. Just great, great stuff. The great Mike Bloomfield. Um... The only new, uh, the second new, because the other one was the Magic Sam from 2022. The other second new release I bought this year in blues was uh, Charlie Musselwhite. And this is his album, Mississippi Sun, on um, <clears throat> Alligator Records, blue vinyl. I don't know why they feel they have to do it in colored vinyl, but they do. Is Alligator Records. Um, this is mostly a... Um, uh, it just has Charlie Musselwhite on guitar, vocals, and harmonica, Ricky Quicksand Martin on drums, and Barry Bays on acoustic stand-up bass. So it's very spare um, blues. Charlie is just great on it, even though he's getting in there to, in the 80s. His voice is still really great. And uh, some In the Darkest Hour, uh, what else? Remembering Big Joe, um, Blues Give Me a Ride. My road, li my road Lies in Darkness, Drifting from Town to Town. Just great stuff. Great Charlie Muscle White. Highly recommend it. This is one of the oldest records I had this year, I picked up. This is from 1961, and it's an original Memphis Slim. And this is um, Chicago Blues. And on the uh, Folkways label, the original, everyone knows that, blue Folkways label. Um, like I say, I'm old enough and lucky enough, I got to see Memphis Slim at the 1965 uh, Newport uh, Folk Festival. Uh, Memphis Slim and Willie Dixon together. That was a, a moment in time. <laughs> this is backed up with Jump Jackson on drums and R.B. Stidham on guitar and Memphis Slim playing the fantastic piano, blues, boogie-woogie piano. So, great, great buy. Really happy to find that one. Not in perfect shape, but 1961, what do you expect? <clears throat> Next one. The great John Lee Hooker. This is You Never Get Out of the Blues Live. You never Get Out of These Blues Live. You probably know this one with the original cover, which is him sitting on a bus uh, with his guitar case. This is a Pickwick Repress, originally released in um, 1972. This is a 1978 Repress on Pickwick. Um, I guess originally it was released in uh, quad draphonic sound. There's the Pickwick label. 
But it is a great, a short album, but it was so great. It has Bumble, 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 I'm sorry, Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Hit the Road, Country Boy, Boogie with the Hook, TB Sheets, Letter to My Baby, and Never Get Out of These Blues Alive. I'd like to find an original with the original cover. I'm sure it's going to sound better. This is Pickwick, which was their uh, throwaway label, but that's okay. Glad to have it anyway. John Lee Hooker. Never Get Out of These Blues Alive. Next one is one I've had, and this was an upgrade. I was happy to get a new copy or newer copy and in really good shape. It's an original from 1969, and it's Johnny Winter, Second Winter. Uh, love this record. I had a copy that was so beat up, it was hard to listen to. So when I found an original in good condition, I was really happy to jump on it and add it to the collection. And this has one of my favorite songs where he does a Highway 61 revisited uh, Bob Dylan's, which is just Fantastic. <clears throat> I'll just slipping and sliding, uh, hustle down to Texas. It's a three sided album, uh, three sides, two out records, three sides. One side is completely blank, which in 1972 was sort of, or uh, 69, was uh, definitely a different way to go. But great album. Everybody knows that one. Johnny Winter, Second Winter. <clears throat> and the last one I'll show is one I picked up when I, my wife and I were in France in uh, September. And we stopped by a couple of stores. And this is a gentleman who left the United States and lived in France for a number of years as an expat. And that's uh, Luther Allison. And this is his album, Love Me Papa. Um, again, I'm lucky enough to see Luther Allison in the 1970 Ann Arbor Blues Festival. But great album. <clears throat> he has, there were a lot of albums of his in, um, in France in the record stores. Because he recorded a lot of stuff over there that was not released in the U.S. This is one of them. Love Me Papa. The great Luther Allison. Um, does Key to the Highway. He does a Magic Sam song on here, I Feel So Good. Um, Love Me Papa. Blues with a Feeling, which we all know. So, great album. Luther Allison on the Black and Blue label. Out of France. All right, so that's just a smattering of some of the blues albums I picked up this past year. Um, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I appreciate it. And I hope the following next year, 2023, everybody gets all the records they want and that they're all clean and playable. Okay? Until next time, peace.